Honours for bravery today for four police officers injured while doing their job, including the three shot in last year's ambush at Chermside. And for their colleague, who risked his life dragging them to safety, an award for valour. On the 1st of May last year, Nigel Parodi perpetrated an act of cowardice, shooting three unsuspecting police. Today, his victim's bravery was rewarded. So too, the actions of Sergeant Brett Price, who dragged his wounded comrades to safety. Did the job that I had to do, and, and I just, at the time everything was going through my mind, I was just hoping that if I was in that same situation, somebody would come to my assistance, and that's basically what I did. Chris Mulhall was one of those shot by Parodi. This whole episode's probably lasted about eight months, and it does, it does bring closure to what occurred. While there's no doubt the officers awarded medals today acted bravely, the Commissioner says the most important aspect of those actions was their teamwork. What they reflect is the finest traditions of the police service in Queensland and also that the quality policing comes about because of teamwork and all of these people today work as team players. Sharnel Cole is back at work. Daryl Green says with help he won't be far behind. I've got further operations to go, another three operations before everything's fixed. But um, I'll get there eventually with the support of my colleagues. Former officer Scott Gemmell also received a Valor Award. 67 stitches to knife wounds from an attack at Baronia Heights in 1999 was enough to convince him teamwork extends way beyond the service. I had to, to weigh things up. I've got two little kids and it actually affected them pretty bad too. So in the interest of my family and uh, myself I decided to move on. Steve Marshall, National 9 News.